the story is uh, as much about families surviving or living through a national crisis as well as it is about the the family of the nation. I play Maddie Jameson. Um, she's married to John Jameson, who's at the very top of the, the play. You see that the march is coming, that Sherman's coming. The march is coming to the south. She loses everything close to her. She loses all of, all of her, what defines her and her world. Arlie Wilcox, uh, you, we first discover in a, in a prison in uh, Milledgeville, Georgia. He's been uh, found for sleeping on picket duty, which Dr. Rowe himself said that he was found for. There's, there's a kind of moral ambiguity to the guy, which as an actor is, is fun. He's, he's big and he's huge, and, and if, if actually you, you acted him the way he apparently behaved, it would almost seem too much. His behavior reinforced the, the statements from the people who said he was crazy. People said he left the room and I was exhausted. The writing is so exquisite. Dr. O is such a great storyteller. I mean, it's our language, our American language, broken into a hundred voices. She is the emotional side of the play, to me at least. I hate to be so self-centered about her, but she does represent the, um, the disrupted psychology of, of the nation. These characters that Dr. Rowe kind of renders, uh, um, I think tell us a lot about who we are today, even though it's, you know, this all took place 150 years ago. I just thought it was a wonderful, wonderful story and an and, and, and epic in scale. And I got jazzed by it. I got jazzed by the research. It's about the love of um, an ideal. It's, it's, about, uh, it's about love of country. You see this, this journey of this Southern woman. And I am from the South. So I felt, well, I'm the one to represent her. I'm the first guy to play him. I certainly won't be the last. And I guarantee you, everybody who gets to play that part is gonna have a blast. You're in awe of the soldiers that actually survived all four years. You, well, you, you come away with a, with a with an appreciation of a period in our history that was essential, that needed to happen. I would hope that we as a, a family of Chicagoans, theatergoers, Americans, human beings, are drawn yet again to meditate on the mystery of human conflict.